Hello again, everyone. This is American Idioms Part 91. This is the 91st video in my American Idioms series, and like the others, I'll present five idioms to you numbered 451 to 455. But first, I'll give you a chance to guess their meanings. Then, I'll give you the answers along with an additional example for each new idiom. I also recommend that you pause the video at each question to give yourself some extra time to think of the answers. So, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Number 451. Draw the short straw. And the example is... I drew the short straw and have to go into work on Sunday to finish our new project. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C, to obtain the least favorable or fortunate outcome in a given selection. Now, this idiom comes from the practice of drawing straws, as we say, where what happens is one person will hold several straw, pieces of straw in their hand, and then with the ends poking out, and then each person in the group will draw a straw, will take one of the straws, and the person who takes the shortest piece has to do this thing, which is usually unfavorable or difficult to do, or something that nobody else wants to do, okay? That's what it means if you draw the short straw. In our example, this is exactly what happened here. This person, for whatever reason, was chosen or picked to go in on Sunday to finish the project, okay? So this person drew the short straw. Here's another example. Larry drew the short straw and had to clean the toilets at school yesterday. All right, so similar to our last example, this person, for whatever reason, was picked or chosen for the unfavorable thing. Okay, so the outcome of this selection was cleaning the toilets, which I think is not the best job. All right, got it? Okay, and now for number 452. To get something over with. And the example is, I hate doing oral presentations at school, but I have to do one next week. So just to get it over with, I'm going to volunteer to do mine first. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is B, to get something, usually unpleasant, done very quickly. It means to get it over with, to do it quick, so it's finished. Like in our example, this person hated to do oral presentations, so he decided to volunteer to do his first, so he could get it over with quickly. Like our next example. My dentist told me that I should have my wisdom teeth pulled before I have any problems with them. So, I have decided to get it over with on my next visit to the dentist. So, in this case, the person's not going to wait, right? He's going to get it over with. He's going to have his teeth pulled quickly. And now for number 453. Strong suit. And the example is, I'm not good at carpentry work, but working on computers is my strong suit. So, if you need any help with your laptop, please let me know. Can you guess the meaning?
And the answer here is B, a skill or activity at which someone is good at. That is what someone's strong suit is. It doesn't have to be computers like in our example here. It could be good at anything. That would be your strong suit. But in the example, this person happens to be good at working on computers. That's his strong suit. So he asked his friend or the person if they need any help. Okay, so your strong suit is the skill that you're good at. That's your strong suit. Like our next example. Roseanne's strong suit is eating a lot of food very quickly. So she should have no trouble winning the hot dog eating contest next week. All right, since Roseanne is really good at Eating a lot of food very quickly, that's her strong suit. She should do well in the hot dog eating contest, okay? That's her strong suit. Got it? And now for number 454. As it stands. And the example is, as it stands, I don't like this version of software on our computers at work. So I'll wait until Apple revises it before I buy it for my computer at home. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is A, at this time or now. That's what it means if something, if we say as it stands, it means currently or now or at this time. Like our example, this person didn't like the software, the version of the software, as it stands, meaning that's being used right now. So they're going to wait until the new version comes out or the upgraded version, right? So as it stands means at this time. Like our next example. As it stands, I have a great job, but that could change very quickly in this economy. So I should be prepared just in case. All right, so this person is saying, well, now I have a great job as it stands right now, but it can change very quickly, right? And now for our final idiom, number 455. Bounce something off someone. And the example is, I bounced the idea of painting our house a different color off my wife. And she liked the idea very much. Can you guess the meaning? And the correct answer here is C, to tell someone something to solicit a response, meaning to get an opinion from someone, to get them to give you an idea about something or how they feel about it, all right, or some input about something. Like in our example, this person bounced the idea of painting their house a different color off of his wife, right? He was trying to get a response from her to see what she thought, okay? to bounce something off someone. Here's another example. Before I decided what university to attend after I graduated, I bounced many of them off my family and friends, and it really helped me to decide which one was the best for me. Like our last example, the person is trying to get a response from someone. In this case, it happens to be his family and friends. So he's bouncing many of these universities off of them, as we say, right? He's asking advice in a way to get a response from his family and friends. Got it? That's all for this video. Thanks again for subscribing, everyone, and please like and share the video to support the channel. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.